What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel VP Tactical here. So today, part three of the Grendel build, uh, don't have a <clears throat> mass amount to work on, but at least did want to show you a couple of pieces that I recently had got in uh, for the Grendel build, going to be part three. Some of it's been delayed, imagine, you probably figure due to the COVID and all of that other stuff that's happening right now, there's a lot of backlog with shipping, etc., so on and so forth. So we did actually, in fact, get our upper receiver in. Um, this one is actually a side charging handle uh, from Bear Creek Arms, BCA. And um, I know, you know, may get some flack or some, some pushback about these guys, but Bear Creek Arsenal does actually put out a pretty decent product. And uh, this particular one, you know, I'll do a side review on it as well as uh, some of the other pieces here that I've got. But this one for the money, I think it was right around about 140 bucks. Comes with a bolt carrier. Um, well, excuse me, the upper receiver, the bolt, bolt carrier group, side charging handle, all of that stuff's already included. This is actually a type two. And um, really, I mean, for what it's worth, this is actually pretty beefy. It's a little bit wider and thicker, which I actually kind of like. And I did uh, test fit the barrel, which is one of the pieces I did get in, although I don't have my hand guard, so I can't actually attach it as of yet. But uh, I did actually test fit it. One of the most important pieces that when your actual, when your barrel goes in here, you don't, when you actually get it in there, you don't want any, any sort of wiggle. So you really want that, that tight fit around the barrel and the, the barrel extension, if you will, uh, into the chamber area. So something to note that I think that that's going to make a big difference too, as far as accuracy. So I know some folks have done stainless steel shims as a, as a way to mitigate any, any wobble or looseness in your, in your barrels. Luckily with this one, I won't have that problem. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and slap it on here, which this one's pretty much going to be, like I said, don't have a massive amount of, of stuff to go over today. And this is one thing that kind of bugs me about the BCA upper is that they have this plug. So normally where the charging handle goes is a plug instead. So it's like to keep gas and everything out of your face. Part of the problem is though, they should have put a shim or something in here. So you can see, actually let's take this off. Um, this, if you tighten it all the way up, it's actually upside down. So that round part, the flat part actually needs to be on the bottom. Otherwise the, this is gonna hit the back of the, the lower. <coughs> so I gotta, loosen that up so it's actually it stays loose which I don't really like and I'll probably fix via shim or wash or something in there but the point to note um, you know Bear Creek Arsenal does need to kind of get on that and get that fixed so super easy assembly so you just push those pins in <clears throat> and we're good to go bolt racks and everything fires so really really cool piece I'm actually very very happy with it and I, I have check this out before so you look at that one thing that a lot of people complain about especially with um you know pairing up different products is that the receiver doesn't always um made up well with the lower this one actually has what you're hearing is the bolt rattling but there is absolute no rattle from the upper receiver and lower mating it is 100 percent locked up and tight which i am extremely happy about well, the piece i wanted to show you today was the stock so actually really really happy with this um this is from luth ar this is the mba3 so it does use the six positions uh adjustable stock whereas the mba i believe one has a fixed stock requires a22 i didn't want to use that i wanted mil spec um six position adjustable stock and that's what i got here so hence we got the luth ar really key note um if you look here right there there's actually a little notch so when you pull this down it actually has to hit that notch so you may have to adjust it a little bit but once you get it adjusted simply slip that guy in lock into place and you'll notice too there's quite a bit of rattle on there um but what they've done in here there's actually a allen wrench so you can see that right there this is built into the stock so what you would do is basically tighten up this screw right here there's a little set screw and this will actually take out all of the, the wobble altogether and then keep the stock uh, firmly positioned in place. So other than that, um, like I said, for today's video, uh, not a whole lot going on just because we have some more parts coming in actually this week. Did end up getting the barrel. Uh, so I'll give you a quick sneak peek with that. 
So we have a heavy DMR barrel here, rifle length gas tube. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a sweet build when it's all said and done. Long story short, appreciate you stopping by. Um, thanks again for all the love and support. Hit that like and subscribe button. You can also find me on Instagram at VP Tactical one Other than that, be safe, stay vigilant, and we'll catch you on the next episode here, uh, hopefully in a couple of days, if not by the weekend. Thank you.